Hi, I'm Jenny Carlson with The Oklahoman. I am in awe of Kurt Budke's hair. Really, I am. I came to this conclusion Wednesday night at his post-game press conference. His Oklahoma State women's basketball team had just defeated Missouri and pushed its record to 15-1, and the best start ever in program history. And yet, I found myself mesmerized by Budke's hair. Part down the side, feathered back from there, the comb marks visible just above his ears. It makes Budke look a little bit like a televangelist, but in a good way, if that's possible. It's Budke's signature look. All of that got me thinking about other sports types in our fair state with distinctive hair. Let me tell you, it's amazing what you find yourself thinking about on a late night drive back from Stillwater. Heck, it's never bad to pull occasionally from the off the wall file for a video commentary either. So, without further ado, Sherry Cole, could you imagine her with anything other than her curly blonde hair? What if she dyed her hair black or straightened it out? That'd just be weird. Mr. Spiky Hair, Mike Gundy could fund a small country with what he spends on hair product. Doug Sauter, it's not the hair on his head, but rather the hair on his face. The Blazers coach has a beard that Rip Van Winkle could have died for. Phil Lodeholt and Duke Robinson, the dreaded duo was more than a nuisance to opposing defenses. The Oklahoma offensive linemen have some of the coolest dreadlocks around. Larry Fedora, heck, I know he's no longer in our fair state, having left OSU for Southern Miss, but his hair was a regular topic of conversation in our office. I chalk it up to jealousy. Who wouldn't want Fedora's abundant locks? At the end of the day, all those looks are good and fine, but the one that still gets me is Budkey's. I'm almost hoping that his team wins the conference or something so that someone will muss up his hair like Arizona's players did to Lute Olson at the Final Four. Talk about a hair-raising experience. I'm Jenny Carlson with The Oklahoman.